for a week. Pavelia. Where others see darkness, I see bright opportunities. Be it upon your heads when our expectations take flight like thestrals. Be it upon your conscience when our graves find us all too soon. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Ah! What was that? Someone's going to regret trespassing. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. What's up your sleeve this time, Merlin? I dream of making a better world for me.
Rebellion. I shan't be having none of your nonsense. Leave me like that again and you'll see by yourself. You're now for coaches at your back. Lower Hogsfield or upper? Your life ends here. Shame. Pavilion. I can't decide what I enjoy more. Killing beasts or something. Who says crime doesn't pay? But I'm practically swimming in galleons. If a beast can't outsmart me. Uh -huh. You can see why Feldcroft needs... Fanrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Always my turn for patrol. That's all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. I'm famished. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. 
Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Sorona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. He's likely studied here. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crankrock. I gave the whole clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. Ah, that's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether.
much, friend. <laughs>